Hello everyone, we're going to do a second homework problem because this is a fun way to do them. Not this in algebra, okay? Algebra is a nasty thing. We want to avoid it. Some people are really good at it and they love it and they swim in it. That's great for them. I happen to be someone who's good at it. It doesn't mean I love it, but I'm, I'm fairly good at it. There's other things I'm good at that I'd rather do though. But again, some people... They just love their algebra. For, this video isn't for you, because I'm going to do as little algebra as I can. It says the company has determined that consumers are willing to purchase 132 units of their product each week when the price is set at $62.40. At a unit price of $7.80, consumers are willing to buy 405 units per week. I want the demand function. Okay. Well, to find a demand function, and this is assuming it's a linear, and most of you who are coming here, you're going to do a linear demand. We're not econ majors who are using Excel and doing linear regression and all that. Speaking of linear regression, yes, that's how we're going to do this. But I need to get two points first. When you're getting points, remember X is number items and Y equals money. Always remember X is number items, Y is money. Okay, you can remember why is money because if you look at the end of money, what do we have? A Y is at the end of money. Okay, so you can figure out why is money by just looking at the last letter. So reading it again, it says they're willing to purchase 132 items at a price of 162.40. So I got 132, 62.40. And then it says that a price is 780, they'll purchase 405. So 405, comma 7.80. There's my two points, and I'm going to type them in the calculator so that I can find the equation of the line without doing algebra. So what you're going to do is press stat, hit enter. Now there's a video on just how to do this up on YouTube. Okay. And I'll put that video description in the link, as well as the document I'm working on here. This is page three of that document. There's another video of page one and two on it. So I'm going to press stat, hit enter. I'm going to clear these by hitting clear and down, because I don't want anything in here. And I don't need to clear L3, but I'm going to. Now what we're going to do in the L1 column, we're going to put our X values. In the L2 column, we're going to put our Ys. This will be 132 and this is 405. So 132, 405. Okay. Now over in the L2 column, we're putting the Y. So this is 62.40. And then this one is 7.80. So I put 7.8. Okay. Now I got my points in there. What we're going to do now is we're going to press stat, go over to calc. So I push the stat button over to calc. And then if you look, number four says Linreg. So that's what we want to go to. Number four for Linreg. That means stands for linear regression. It's a way of finding lines and curves based on a set of points. Okay. And the calculator is built in. Why not abuse it? So I get y equals negative 0.2x plus 88.8. Okay. So there's my equation for the line. This is a demand function. In math speak, we would call this P equals negative 0.2x plus 88.8. Okay? Because, well, we have to use the proper letter or some of the math teachers take off like an excessive amount of points. Since you use the wrong letter, you're evil. I don't know. There, there's a couple of them at A&M that do that. All right, so I got my weekly demand function. Now to get revenue, part B, revenue is X times P. So this is X times negative 0.2X plus 88.8. So it's negative 0.2X squared plus 88.8X. So there's my revenue function. Okay. Now, one of the things I'm going to do is press Y equals. I'm going to clear out what's in there because I don't need them. We'll go ahead and put the demand function in Y1. So I'm going to put negative 0.2x plus 88 .8. Okay. Reason I'm about to do that is because part C. 
and it's going off the screen but you can download this and print it from the Google Doc. Part C, determine the number of units consumers will demand each week when the price is $37.60. So when my price equals 37.60 I want the number demanded so I'm going to set that equal to my demand equation negative 0.2x plus 88.8 and then I can just come down here to y2 and put the 37.6 okay then I can press math up enter that's the equation solver go ahead and watch the video on equation solving it'll be in the link too and then since it's linear it doesn't matter what number is here I'll just hit 5 alpha enter the the solver takes the number you put here and finds the closest solution to that number since there's only one solution the calculator will find it if it was a quadratic I'd have to guess around a little bit so in part C I get X equals 256 part D I want to find the number of units to maximize revenue okay that's not too hard. It's a, it's we're not in calculus, but it's a quadratic, and the vertex is at negative b over two a. Now we're working off revenue, so I have to work off these right here. So this is negative eighty eight point eight over two times negative point two, and typing that in a calculator, going to the home screen. I type in negative 88.8 divided by parentheses 2 times negative 0.2 and I get 222. So I have to sell 222 items to maximize my revenue. Now we're almost done because there's a part E and that's it. And I don't need much room. On part E it says determine the price that will maximize revenue. Okay. I'm going to use this number of items right here, and i got to use the revenue equation. Remember, that was P equals negative 0.2X plus 88.8. And all we want to do is plug that in for X. So it would be 0.2 times 222 plus 88.8. Remember, I have my demand in Y1, so I can shortcut this. I can press VARS over to Y VARS, press Enter, Enter, put parentheses, 222 close parenthesis, enter. The calculator will plug it in that demand function for me and tell me 44.4 is my answer. All right, well there you go. There's another homework problem work through. I hope you find it helpful because this is cost, revenue, and profit. And even if you don't go to Texas A&M and have the god-awful math class, it should be helpful. Have a good one.